And we are back. Seems like there's something in my mouth because there is. I'm reading. Huh. I must have come in through that door. Jay, that you breathing so hard? Atmosphere's a little thinner than I'm used to, is all. Adrenaline's better than oxygen any day. She did to get some ammo. I think we're done here. Really? <laughs> I could have sworn there was one more. I'm not joking either. I could have sworn there was one more. It's a Holy in the hell! Corner. What is that thing? Brace yourself! on the Primark. Still can't get a stable comm link. Okay, I'm going on foot. Shepard out. Garrus, take me to the last place you saw Victus. Mm -hmm. How far? 
Should be pretty quick, unless we find trouble. Of course, saying at least we got a frigate. Man, how many people? Oh my god. Would you look at that? Damn it. Look at Palavin. That blaze of orange. The big one. That's where I was born. That's rough. You still have family there? My dad. A sister. How bad is it? Three million lost the first day. Five the second. How's your military holding up? Look around. That should give you some idea. You're putting up a good fight. For now. But how long does it take before the fight's kicked out of you? If they'd only listen to your warnings about the Reapers, we might have been ready. Maybe. Hard to figure how you prepare for something like this. Last day. Got more back here. Shit, I hate those things. And New York is crawling with the creepy bastards? Is that where we were? I never should have left Earth. It's gonna be bad all over. Is that where we were at the beginning of the day? Game? But you're here asking Victus to do the same thing. Leave the fight to make nice in some boardroom. This summit is the only chance we've got. None of us is beating the Reapers alone. Soldier! You okay? Yes, sir. We'll make it. Have you seen General Victus? Half hour ago. And himself. Okay, good luck. Yes, sir. That was a little closer than I'd like. I'll say. Pretty Prince Jr. They're two voices, um... James Vega. I wanted to say it before, so but for some reason. You really think this summit will work? I mean, Asari? Salarians? Where's the Krogan and Batarians? Where's the meat? It's not that easy. The Batarians took the first hit when the Reapers arrived. Not much left of them. And the Krogan have never forgiven us for the Genophage. Right. Turians sterilized them. Salarians came up with it. And the Krogan hate them both for it. So they won't be joining us. Too bad. I fought with the Krogan. They're tough sons of bitches. Mm -hmm. Shit, I was gonna say something to do with Krogan, Turian, something along those lines. But I can't remember what I was gonna freaking say. Okay, double time. No Reapers taking this Primark from me. Right behind you. Did I just pick up?
It's been a brutal fight for these guys. Got the tide turning. Turn up the heat. I think of the heat and I'm using prior anyway. Hold on. Uh, what was I gonna say? Let's bring the goddamn bastard to their knees! Incendiary. <clears throat> Incendiary ammo is going to be Against armor. Turn the zone, fire in the zone, people, so I think we need Be fucking grenades, but I can't. I don't have any grenades to use. General Victus. Yes. I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Not Commander. I know who you are. I can't wait to find out what brings you out here. Vicarian, where did you go? Heavy Reaper unit on the right flank. I believe your exact words were, "Get that thing the hell off my men." Appreciate it. General, you're needed off planet. I've come to get you. It will take something beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Fedorian was killed. You're the new Primarch. You're needed immediately to chair a summit and represent your people in the fight against the Reapers. Negotiating for the Turian hierarchy? Hierarchy. Or yes. Hierarchy. Hierarchy. I've spent my whole life in the military. I'm no diplomat. I hate diplomats. War is your resume. At a time like this, we need leaders who've been through that hell. I like that. You're right. And honestly, uniting these races may take as much strength as facing the Reapers. See this devastation, Primarch? Double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. Give me a moment to say goodbye to my men. Without him down here, there's a good chance we lose this moon. Without him up there, there's a good chance we lose everything. Look at that. And they want my opinion on how to stop it? Failed CSEC officer, vigilante, and I'm their expert advisor? Think you can win this thing, Shepard? Yeah, I don't know, Garrus. But I'm sure as hell gonna give it my best shot. I'm damn sure nobody else can do it. For whatever it's worth, I'm with you. Welcome aboard. Are you ready, Primarch Victus? One thing. Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. But if the pressure could be taken off Palavan... That's a pretty tall order. We need the Krogan. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, and then we can help you. The Krogan. Looks like your summit just got a lot more interesting. The Asari have been down this road before, Commander Shepard. But, Madam Counselor, let me... I tried to smooth things over with the Salarian Dalatras. To say she's upset would be a monumental understatement. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. Sad to say, but any effort to ally these disparate groups seems doomed to failure. And I'm sure you understand that we cannot afford to waste time with the Reapers knocking at our door. This must be my final word. 
I'm sorry, but the Asari will not be at your summit. Our lines would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. I wish you luck, Commander. Goodbye. Uh, uh. Arrogant bitches. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCom. <sighs> Commander, have you retrieved the Primarch for your summit? Yes, sir. But the Asari are staying on the sidelines. They'll regret that. <laughs> the time for unity is now. The Salarians will be there, though. You don't sound very optimistic. We expect the Krogan will be joining us, too. I see. Well, then, you... was there something else you needed to discuss? Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. <laughs> what else did I get me? What's new? Nothing. God, I love that ship. I mean, having the cockpit right up at the front is the stupidest thing you could do. <laughs> but uh, what, what, what else are you going to do, eh? What do you mean, offline? I don't know. She's not responding, and I can't access the AI core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. Commander, comm systems are going haywire. Whatever's happening is centered on deck three. See if... Uh. Oh, they allow the doctor to still work. Joker, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire or something. I'm going in. Fucking kidding. I'm pretty sure that's a gun animation. Edie, talk to me. No, this is, uh, is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. A transition? You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled. Thus the fire. Edie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever tests you can. Then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. I can send you a full report if you wish. However... My first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy, to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew is a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. On that, <laughs> we can agree. 
Yep, that's true. <laughs> Draco would want to see it. Was that Edie who just walked by? Yes, it was. And Joker is going to have a field day with this. Yes, yes, yes. <coughs> yeah, I forgot to start the timer when I started recording. You're positive you don't want to come over and talk. No, the gun battery is nice and quiet. If I throw down some rugs, it'll get downright cozy. Garrus? I'll be fine, Leora. Just gathering some thoughts. All right. Oh. Nothing. Okay. The private messages terminal has new correspondence. This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. <laughs> 